Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Common Rider Revice, you guys. Boy, we've got a lot going on. Um, it just seems like every episode, like the plot thickens even more. And just when you think we're getting like some actual progress towards like what the heck is going on, they kind of like throw another curve curveball at you. So it's it's uh it's been a wild ride, you guys. Um, I will briefly get into what I thought of the last episode. First off, I just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. If you're joining me on those YouTubes, please be sure to hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right, guys. First order of business before I forget because I thought it would be something that you guys would enjoy. Before I get into what I thought of the episode, I want to show you which way do I have to turn for you to see it. I got this cute little letter board right here. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys because I had to put one of my favorite quotes ever on it, which is inspired by Zero One, and it's the takeoff toward a dream, um, that we kind of hear when the human gear is, like, activate and everything. Um, um, I think a, a lot of you have seen Zero One, and maybe a lot of you have even watched Zero One with me, which is awesome. I loved Zero One. And I just had to share that because it's such a great quote, like, even regardless of Common Rider, but if you know Common Rider, um, it's even just like a little bit more like, yeah, like meaningful. Um, so who knows? Uh, you can't really see it in the videos, but I really like to look at it and enjoy it when Buffy's laying on the couch back there. Um, maybe I'll um, just kind of switch it out every so often with different with different sayings. And, uh, and if I happen to turn around, you guys will see it. Um, so anyway, moving on from my letter board. Um, yeah, guys, the end of the episode left us, left me with a lot of questions. Um, what we ended up with was Vice by himself. Um, it felt very ominous to me. It felt like maybe he was, like, unleashed in some way. I mean, obviously, it's he's, like, independent of Iki now, which is different. But um, it felt like, it didn't feel like bad Vice, but it felt... It felt like where I felt like it could go that way, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm not really sure if that's like um, something they're gonna do or if it isn't. Um, but that's definitely the vibes I was getting at the end of the last episode. Um, the the actual just kind of like uh, getting to see the new upgrade and everything was awesome. I couldn't quite put my finger on what it reminded me of. Um, a few of you said Fang Joker, which makes a lot of sense. Um, and also there was a form from Build, but I haven't seen Build all the way through. So unless maybe I saw like a promo image at some point, because it's been out for a few years now, it's possible I saw something and just had no context for it. Um, but it stuck with me. Um, but yeah, oh, we also got to see the little, the little, speaking of zero one, we got to see the little zero one nod last episode, which was really, really fun. Someone pointed out they even have like the text on the screen, the way that they did in zero one, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, we had a lot going on. Um, I have no idea why this is happening, how it's happening, um, who perpetuated it. Um, we also had a couple other updates in that um, Tamaki, uh, aka Julio, formerly known as Julio, um, is going to um, stay with our crew for a little bit, which will be interesting. Aguilera kind of had this whole like teaming up with Olteca thing, but then some of you were like, is that just a trick? Is she just doing that to kind of like is she going to double cross? So is it like a double, double cross? So I honestly don't know. I can't believe she would just like turn on her friend. You know, I honestly believe she had feelings for him as well. Um, but I don't know. I guess we will find out. And I guess there's only one way to find out, you guys. And that is to jump in to the next episode of Revice. Let's get started. <laughs> He's like, I don't understand. Oh, God, now he's... Oh, no. Yeah, no. They swap spots. Can they do this back and forth now, maybe? 
Yes, because he usually... Okay, I, I think I follow that. I don't think Daiji's privy to it all. Then what happened? What? When you say pick him apart, you don't mean that like in a bad way, do you? Like, you're, whoa. What? He can't know. He can't possibly mean that. You can't possibly mean that. You're, you're, we know. We know Vice. Yiki from the air. <laughs> what if he's just trying to... No, I don't buy that. I don't buy that. Is he just trying to get them because... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he, he doesn't mess around when it comes to swearing. <sighs> we still... That's right. We still have this to deal with, too. It's not, it's not, I gotta say, I don't know, it does look like they're being set up, doesn't it? The comedy team. <laughs> He's spending Iki's money, come on. Oh. Oh. I still, like I said, I still don't know where Aguilera stands. What? I, uh, what are you? Uh, but oh Lord! Oh Lord! Uh oh! Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was incredibly awkward. <laughs> That's what she wanted to ask. Maybe she figured he'd be safe with her. Who knows? Oh, Plushie's on the move! Love, John! You don't mean that. <gasps> Whoa! She's trying to keep him out of this while she takes care of business. Oh, man. Oh! Love, John. Oh! Mm. What? And she's like, whatever. Yeah, I think I think we can. I think we got a good inference there of what she's up to. She's <gasps> what? Really? <laughs> I was gonna say, why would he protect? But hey, a demon needs his curry, I suppose. Oh, it's like, I'm going to be demanding some curry, please and thank you. He did. <gasps> that was her way of keeping him safe, keeping him away from... No, don't cry. Oh, my God, I want to hug him. I think he, you know, I think he looks even better with the glasses, by the way. The glasses are working. Oh, sweetheart. She was trying to probably make it easier to disconnect. She, I, no one said she expresses her feelings well, but, oh, sweetie. Oh, my God, someone, yes, Rob is rubbed back. Oh, poor boy. Oh, that's, what did I say, guys? What did I say? Thank you, <laughs> Also, just to have the time of his life. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Demonic barrage. I feel like I feel like we're going to get asked to leave in a second. He didn't even let him in, in on it. He was like, I'm going to take him apart. Yeah. His demon sense was tingling. 
Yeah! <laughs> oh, the ultimate meddler! Right? People do crazy things sometimes to help the ones they love. That wasn't the plan. What exactly was the was the plan here? Okay. From what fame? Hmm. Maybe she didn't want things to change too much. Is that where they're going with it? Oh, don't. Oh. I knew it wasn't going to be as simple as, like, just competitiveness from the other team. Like, that's the way they were trying to set it up, and I'm like, uh. Aww. Oh, it's going to be fun. Whoa. Oh, I'm feeling it. Yes, vice up. Firmly hijacked and blackened out, same as last. The like, the liquidy effect is, that is so sweet looking. It really is. There's, there's something that like this reminds me of. I can't quite put my, I don't know. It's not like Ganem, is it? <laughs> oh, everyone keep your eyes open. Oh, he just did like a wrestling move on him. What? Wow. <laughs> it's also gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it. Nice. Now trending. Now trending. <laughs> There's got to be a way to get them back. Oh, I see. That's kind of, that's, that's the name of the game, though. Oh, I was just going to say. Mm. They, they, they care. Oh, that's, uh, that is something we need to address. Yeah. He's, he's stuck in the ear. Is he a live experiment? Oh. Yeah, I'm starting to get the... Yeah. There it is. Oh. Yeah, can we please know a little bit more about what's really going on? What? That's not the dad, is it? Is that? Oh, don't tell me. So is that like his dad that he said he'd die, but he didn't really die? Or is it someone else completely? I honestly have no clue, but I'm so intrigued. Wow, you guys. Just when we think we're making an inch of progress, they throw another something crazy at us. Um, I was legitimately impressed that they made the decision to leave Iki and Vice this way for like another episode. I would have guessed by the end of the episode they would have like found a way to set everything right, but um, it's not looking that way. It's definitely not that way. They were still like that at the end. Although I love the kind of the message about like 
how the hiding something, hiding your true intentions or feelings to protect someone kind of like came through in a couple of different situations in this episode. And I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of with the idea of just like, just say what you mean. <laughs> but, um, but it does feel like we have a lot of um, kind of parties at work here that make it difficult to kind of like tiptoe around. So, um, it feels like everyone's trying to like one up each other, you know, like Aguilera's trying to get one up to protect, um, what's his name? Tamaki? Not, I want to say Julio, but, um, also Julio in this episode with the crying. I just wanted to hug him. I wanted to scoop him up and hug him. I had to settle for a little back rub. Ah, oh, poor sweet baby. Um, but yeah, so we have like, you know, we just have a lot of people like trying to like, like, like a, like a shifty cat like that. I don't know what the word for that is, but I'm just going to do this motion until somebody figures it out. Um, but yeah, so maybe that's why like we can't just rely on like honesty, <laughs> which would seem like something that would be a pretty, uh, <laughs> a value held in high esteem. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. So it's a weekend being involved in this makes a lot of sense. Um, Karazaki, the, the one, the leader of weekend, I can only imagine is the dad that we've, so somebody mentioned, we actually did hear about the dad a little while back, like towards the beginning of the series, but I didn't remember that. I just remember them saying last episode, like, oh yeah, I had to go to my dad's funeral. I'm like, oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Wow. Jeez. I didn't even know anything happened. Um, so I'm guessing maybe that's and he's not really dead and he's leading weekend and he's I I honestly have no clue this has gotten so just like it, it's just like like little um twist on top of twist on top of twist at this point I just can't wait to see how they're gonna bring it all together because there's uh there's a lot going on here um but it's a ton of fun. We also had Kagero showing up to, like, protect the curry woman. <laughs> it's like, okay, either Kagero doesn't know that there's more than one person on planet Earth that can make curry, or there was something more going on there. There was, there, there is um, an aspect of these demons that, like, since they are a part of you, they're not completely bad. You know, I think it's, if I had to go out on a limb, I'd say it's a metaphor for... Um, just human personalities in general. We all have a lot of good and a lot of bad, and we can we can um, be controlled or or use either one of those as we see fit. You know, you could let all the bad things bubbling up inside you control you, um, all the negative emotions or feelings or whatever, um, or you could use them for something positive. And if I had to go out on a limb, I'd say that's probably maybe what they're going for here. It's going to be like the moral of the story. Could be wrong, but um, it was nice to see Kageto again. I'm glad they've been bringing him back every so often. He is so much fun to watch. Um, and it's got to be fun for that actor to do like the super like straight lace daiji and then just have like a blast as Kageto. So you really get to do like a range. Um... So, yeah, guys. So, right now, Iki is stuck in Vice's ear. So, we have that going on. Uh, we had a really sweet-looking battle. Um, we have the Karazaki, the new Karazaki, who is the leader of Weekend. Weekend is right up in the mix now. Um, I don't... I, I honestly, like, on paper, Phoenix are the ones who are shady. We know that. So, Weekend should be, like, the good alternative. I'm not getting great vibes about either. Like, Phoenix, definitely not. But, like, George, I feel like is still not... I don't feel like he's completely in on, like, the agenda of Phoenix. You know what I mean? I could be wrong, but they still haven't come out and, like, shown us that he's like, yeah, cool, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, do all the things the director said and, like, completely down with that. It still seems like maybe there's a little bit he doesn't know about it and or he's just not... That's not, that's not him. <laughs> He's not down with it. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know, but I guess we'll find out, you guys. That was an excellent episode. Um, I'm really glad Aguilera is also not just completely cold to Tamaki. Um, she's doing this in a weird way. It's like her way of showing love. Um, 
So in short, maybe we all need a little work on how to express ourselves at certain times. Doesn't mean the feelings aren't there. That was my takeaway. So, um, all right, guys. So it's excellent. I cannot wait to see more. It's crazy to think that we're already, like, in the mid-20s of this series as of, like, next week. Um, next week is 24. Or I guess I should say this week. I'll be watching it next week. Um, you know, we're halfway through the series. Isn't that crazy? It feels like we just... It feels like it's been such a roller coaster ride from the start. Like, I don't know. Um... So, all right. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.